Hi guys, uh, welcome to uh, the class. Thank you for coming. Um, yeah, so today we're going to start a new module, so cryptography. Uh, so you can see the module and the dojo, right? And uh, so I will use the slide deck uh, from the Adam Dupe. Um, so I will combine the concept of the cryptography and also uh, show the demo how to uh, start to solve the challenges uh, <clears throat> for your assignment, the challenges, right? Okay, so cryptography is a very fundamental, um, the key subject in uh, civil cyber security, right? So how uh, how can we use the cryptography and what is the um, the details uh, in terms of some technology or some um, the research topics or what about our the practical uh, real life? So do you know how what kinds of uh, the cryptography application you use now? So a very uh, easy uh, example can be uh, our website, like uh, see, um, so that's just a start landing page of Google. So you can see the <coughs> this mark uh, the lock, right? Lock. So you can see. Um, Okay, connection is uh, secure, and you can see what kinds of pre trap I used to uh, communicate with the Google website. So it can see, you can see the certificate here. So they use the algorithms uh, elliptic curve and key size 256 and public value. So this is the uh, key to Encrypt and decrypt uh, the communications, the traffic network of network. Okay. So we uh, this is the based on the HTTPS um, SSL uh, based uh, web traffic uh, protections. Currently, I guess you didn't understand what is the uh, the name of the algorithm, the elliptic curve, and what's the size of the key, and what's the value these hex byte uh, streams. Uh, maybe so you will understand after this class. Yeah, again, uh, cryptography uh, it's a very important to secure any communications or information on uh, our devices. And also, they provide some service like integrity check or uh, some authentication. Who are you? I am I. <laughs> so you can uh, prove yourself using a cryptography technology. So very, very uh, basic and fundamental uh, the technology stacks. Okay, let's figure out the uh, origin of these terms. The cryptography, yeah, derived from the Greek word the cryptos, the meaning uh, the hidden or the secret, and grap grapine, the grapine, uh, the meaning is writing, yeah. So store the hidden uh, message. So that's the uh, the original uh, the meaning of the cryptography in Greek. Yeah, how to keep uh, information secret? or uh, hidden. Okay, that's the uh, encryption, right? And reversely, the decryption of message using what? Yes, key. So encryption, or that's a, that can be a for encryption algorithm. So you understand the algorithm, right? That's the process of uh, the instructions in the programming. So, the encryption algorithm, that's a, the process transforming the convert the message such that 
uh, the its meaning is concealed. Uh, how can uh, increase? So as I said, so we have to uh, use some algorithm and also a keys. So the keys used for also the the reverse operations call it a decryption, right? Decryption process uh, is convert the encrypted message into the original uh, messages, original form. Yeah, that's very easy, right? Uh, the meaning is easy. Here, the key is a really key. So that cannot be uh, the secret password or value, like as you see the hex value, hex streams, and sometimes it may be the code. So that's, uh, that's for uh, some locking or unlocking uh, some hidden messages, right? Yeah, so key is uh, interchangeable terms with uh, password in our real life. So my ASU, we should use the, our password, right? So that's the key. So key is the key role in encryption, encrypting and decrypting some messages or information. So there are a couple of uh, uh, the more uh, terminal terms, like uh, crypto systems. What is the meaning of systems? Systems. So system has more uh, some systematic, I uh, mean uh, scientific, or it has some mechanism to deal with uh, something, right? So these crypto systems describe how to encrypt and decrypt messages. So it has uh, some necessary uh, in component. Uh, like uh, algorithms or yeah, some keys uh, to decrypt and encrypt and also uh, the addition of the mechanism to perform uh, these crypto uh, operations. So that is the uh, definitions and of crypto systems and the, what's the play text? Uh, I love uh, the plain word. So plain text that is the uh, the readable messages, right? And that's the original messages or data. So if that uh, message is encrypted, then we call that ciphertext. So ciphertext <coughs> seems to be some uh, mixed and scrambled, unreadable uh, form, right? I show that um, uh, under the website, uh, the, so the public key. Right, uh, that's not, that's a that's a public key. But the uh, cipher text is uh, the encrypted message from the original uh, messages. So nobody can uh, read and nobody can understand that a form. We call that uh, the cipher text, right? And cryptographer, the person who invents. Uh, encryption algorithm. So can you uh, design the cryptography algorithm? Yes, you can do that. <laughs> so you can be a, a cryptographer um, if you are good, well, uh, good at uh, the mathematics or uh, some uh, algorithmic work. Uh, the lastly, uh, crypto analyst, they break uh, encryption algorithm or implementation for what? Uh, for fun. So the purpose of this, uh, their work, uh, so strengthen the algorithm. So they uh, give a message to the designer of the crypto, uh, the crypto grapper. In your design, so some kinds of uh, vulnerabilities or weakness uh, can be exist. So you have to caref uh, be careful for this part, like that. Uh, they the scan, investigate, inspect uh, the design of algorithm, the crypto algorithm, and they found out some uh, weakness. So they uh, the publish or 
the share the, with the crypto, uh, crypto data. Okay. What is the uh, benefit um, of the cryptography? Uh, CIA, right? Um, that's the principle of cybersecurity, or we call that uh, CIA Tri-S. Mm, yeah, so we can uh, encrypt some information uh, using uh, cryptography systems, so it keep the secret that uh, maybe uh, that is the uh, the confidentiality, or uh, sometimes we have to check uh, my data is not altered, modified, updated, uh, so that we can get also uh, assure the integrity of our informations using uh, cryptography. Uh, most of uh, algorithms are the hash functions maybe in this case. And authentications. So identity of something, messages, the person, or any uh, subject communicate. So authentications that uh, this uh, reveal the who is the origin, who is the, the genuine, uh, who is the real uh, you. So authentication is also a great great uh, service, right? Also, non repetitions. What is the non repetitions? So, somebody denied uh, what they what he uh, did, right? So, we have to prevent the deniers like that. So, it ensures someone sends a message uh, by online, so they cannot pretend I didn't send. <laughs> so, like a, uh, the contract. Uh, so we have to uh, prevent their deniers when they sign on on that uh, contract. Like uh, this uh, cryptography, uh, so the provide a lot of uh, benefits. So that's why the why we learn uh, cryptography. So. We uh, to learn the cryptography, we use uh, some mnemonic like this. So why we use uh, this approach using uh, the quintuple here the quintuple quintuple, and uh, we defined uh, something as a like a alphabet a letter. Why we do that? What is the benefit of this? method to describe some systems or uh, to find out some logical uh, pitfall maybe okay so we can uh, we can use uh, this formal way to uh, define all component in the crypto systems here we define five uh, component EDM KC. So that is not a uh, correct order. Anyway, so here M indicate the set of plain text. That is the all possible uh, letters and messages uh, we use uh, in your life. Okay. Here the K uh, indicate the key set of keys. So this is the uh, secret codes or password. Uh, to use for locking or unlocking uh, messages or data, okay. Like this, uh, we can uh, define the real world uh, object in this uh, the set. The C indicate a set of cyber text. Again, uh, cyber text is encrypted message by uh, uh, using uh, the encryption algorithm, okay, and. Here E, <coughs> so C, cyber text again. Uh, C is not uh, readable, right? Unreadable, and yeah, it is basically scrambled. Nobody can predict. Nobody can guess. But what's the original message for this cyber text? So that is the C. And what's the E? It's the set of English functions. Here, uh, use uh, we use the terms of functions. 
But in other words, uh, the algorithm, encryption algorithms, sometimes we call uh, the protocol, encryption protocol, encryption functions, algorithm. So E uh, can be defined as a product of M and K, and it make uh, the C. So M is in plain text, right? K is keys. So combine of them, produce the C, cipher text. And last one, the D, yeah, decrease of functions, um, set of decrease functions. So there's the, um, the reverse operations of uh, the encryptions, right? So after uh, combine of C and K, that we can get the original message and the plain text. Okay, so yeah, that's very clear. So that's why we, that's the reason we use this uh, filter pool in crypto systems. So try, have you ever tried uh, read the uh, cryptography papers? No research here. So I, uh, actually, I, in fact, I uh, hate <laughs> the styles of the cryptography uh, papers every every uh, the sentence include uh, the mnemonic the symbol symbolism so sometimes I lost uh, the the flow of the logics in the paper so anyway so it is a good way to show uh, proof or analysis or describe uh, using uh, the printer Principle uh, in crypto systems. Okay. So now, um, so I like to uh, introduce the the very very uh, uh, initial stage of the cryptography. So we call the seizure ciphers. So this passage is from Suetonius. Suetonius. Um, so. The light of Julius uh, Caesar uh, gives us some example how the Julius Caesar so use a simple form of uh, encryption. Yeah, so Julius Caesar's uh, person, maybe the first century, people BC uh, 100 maybe. I'm not sure, but any way very, very old uh, the, the person he considered like this. Uh, if anyone wish to uh, decipher some passages, you have to substitute the first letters of the alphabet. So like uh, A becomes B, C, D, the A, B, C, yeah, D. So the plus the three order of the alphabet, uh, that becomes uh, original messages. So we call this uh, substitution uh, cryptography, substitution algorithm, uh, or ciphers. Um, so, yeah, they, uh, the he uh, thought the something like our the, the modern uh, cryptography, but uh, just a very simple the move uh, the shift from. Uh, the number to the, the left side of the alphabet, right? So this is the um, very good example um, of the start of the uh, cryptography. So we can uh, represent that this cipher like this, the set of uh, M uh, include the sequence of letters uh, let's uh, so this M refers to all uh, possible sequence of letters. So here, uh, yeah, typically uh, indicate the alphabet. Then so uh, the K uh, is the key. That uh, uh, in Caesar ciphers indicate the the shift uh, number, right? Shift value. How many uh, shift? In the alphabet, that's the key in the uh, Caesar cipher. So that range is from zero to twenty-five, because the alphabet 
that's uh, 26 uh, letters they used, right? And E is going to be the set of uh, uh, the encryption functions. So the index by uh, E uh, indexed by K, K. So K belongs to the set of the key, right? And the encryption function um, K, uh, the key K shift each letters M uh, in the plain text by uh, the K position uh, forward in the alphabet. The last character, like a Z, uh, can be wrapped around to the first uh, beginning of uh, the alphabet, like A or B, like that. So this operation can be expressed like, uh, as you can see the here, eight M plus K, so the shift count can be added to messages and modular operator 26. So wrapping around the alphabet, so that uh, the module 26 can uh, the wrapping and wrap uh, the order, right? In decryptions, how can we recover that uh, messages? So as you can see, uh, 26 from 26 plus 3, so moved order uh, and subject K from that order. So that gonna be make the original message the M, right? So this is very the simple and interesting. So this is the uh, Python example, so we can implement like that, right? Uh, so the shift uh, take uh, uh, shift. So the take the the key. So um, in this case, um, we, we got uh, some uh, plain text and uh, take one byte uh, using all, all uh, functions. And here, uh, spell A, uh, that, that is the, uh, so all the functions convert the alphabet to the Unicode uh, number. So that means that's uh, the place, the value. Okay. So, can this uh, get the the loop, the shift, the characters uh, by the, the key uh, values? Okay. So if you like to decrypt that message. What change I need here? Yeah, you just change the plus to minus. So that uh, is the original place of the messages. Okay. So uh, to design a robust uh, cryptography algorithm, uh, the, we can consider some the strapped model to attack on that uh, cryptography algorithm. So we call that uh, we can uh, set some uh, set model here uh, adversary. So adversary uh, is the person trying to crack the code break into the system to see the security message. Uh, so they know the method is to how to hide like uh, the algorithm, but uh, they don't know the key. So is this a realistic assumptions? What do you think about these assumptions? So advisory can know the what kinds of algorithm used uh, in this crypto system, but they don't know the key. So this is the uh, realistic uh, assumptions to design the uh, cryptographic algorithm. So these questions uh, ask us 
So uh, before I learn uh, the cryptography, uh, the, my idea is cryptographic algorithm itself maybe the privacy or uh, secret information against the adversary, right? But in the cryptography uh, domains, so cryptography algorithm should be opened, the published uh, publicly to everyone. What does it mean? It is verified by publics, public. So uh, they can say uh, this algorithm is verified by public or yeah, the, the lot of uh, crypto analyst. So they verify this based on open open uh, the design of algorithm. So uh, that's the reason why the many uh, encryption algorithms are publicly known. Okay. So that's the way to keep a more strong and more spirit of the crypto algorithm. So. Here, so in the SRAM model, we can uh, define the capability of adversary here. So he can attack based on the cipher text only. The other one is known plain text, known plain text attack. Lastly, a chosen uh, plain text. So cipher text only, what does it mean? So adversary, he got the cipher text already uh, encrypted messages but it's very hard to uh, figure out the original messages without any uh, the extra information right but in the site in the critical page there is a, a text uh, only a uh, with only a uh, cipher text so I will show you uh, later <laughs> and no plain text in this case, the individual you know, uh, know how, uh, the original messages and he can input that message, the algorithm, and he can get the output. So he can compare between input and output text. And he, uh, he can uh, analysis based on, on those differences between them. So how so he can input uh, the various in, uh, various input and get the uh, various output. So analysis based on a comparison of them, of them that he can get uh, uh, some clue to solve to decrypt uh, the algorithm. That is the known plain text okay? The last was children uh, plain text. So adversary can pick some messages from the cipher text, uh, from the plain text, and then uh, input the algorithm. So and uh, see the encrypted cipher text. So he tried to understand uh, how to encryption works. So the known plain text attack, he know he got the full uh, the plain text, but uh, children plain text plain text, but he only choose the partial uh, the plain text, partial part. Okay. So uh, by uh, input this chosen plain text uh, into the algorithm and get some result output. So the adversary can uh, the extract some of the relations between the input and the output. So it is similar to the known plain text attack, but uh, the, he cannot get uh, all the plain uh, text. So he can get only got, get the the partial information of the plain text. So that's for the chosen plain text. Plain text. So he tried to input that uh, into the the algorithm and also got the output. So he tried to. Uh, correlate so in, uh, between the input and output 
and extract some relations. Based on that, he tried to uh, something different input. So that's the way to uh, the break down, a break in, break into the break into uh, the ivory integration ivory. So I will show you how to do that. So, uh, So when someone try to crack the code, uh, use the keep information script, uh, they can try the different uh, method depending on so where the code might be weak. So here's a sample look at uh, three main ways. The first one, the mathematical attack. So are you good at the math? Sometimes uh, the attacker, the very uh, smart attacker, really hard uh, he, uh, the attacker uh, looks really hard at the math. Uh, he can uh, use that uh, some skills of math, like uh, the mathematical mistake or some part is not uh, complete. So they might uh, figure out how to get the secret without uh, the keys. So it's like finding a hidden door. Uh, because the person uh, who designed uh, the, the algorithm, uh, he cannot expect that. He didn't, uh, he thought he cannot, he didn't uh, make a mistake, but uh, uh, there is a hole of vulnerabilities. So that's a uh, mathematical, uh, the tricks. And second one is uh, the statistical uh, attacks. It's like a guessing based on uh, status. Statist. So in this attack, uh, the attacker is like a detective. Okay? So make assumptions based on the underlying languages and examine the ciphertext, correlate properties with assumptions. Okay? So they should find the what actually uh, can get and uh, by guessing the hidden messages. And also, they have some the statistical informations. So I will show you uh, the statistical informations uh, later. Based on that, you can uh, try with some more high probability to uh, decrypt the messages. The last one are uh, implementation tasks. So every algorithm uh, developed by the person, right? So person not perfect. So sometimes uh, we, we could uh, find out a bug or some weak point of the algorithm, right? So uh, we can uh, match uh, with uh, the specifications or some design documents of the algorithm with the real world implementations of the algorithm, right? That's kind of a conformance, uh, conformance test. So we can uh, attack uh, using this way. So classical, uh, classical uh, cryptography, uh, the person send the secret message and the person are getting uh, shared the secret the key password right um, the password make the message uh, the scramble and also the, the unscrambled messages the share the secret can be same both uh, for both uh, people right so we call that uh, symmetric uh, cryptography that's uh, uh, the classical cryptography. So nowadays, uh, so asymmetric uh, cryptography. Yeah. So the key key pairs different between you and me. So you use key A, I can open that uh, my key B. So we have different key, but uh, we can com uh, communicate with uh, the, the two different key pairs. That is the asymmetric key. 
So in the classic uh, cryptography, so symmetric cryptography, so your key and my key, so, uh, they are same. That's the uh, initial uh, cryptography. Okay, there are two main ways to scramble uh, messages in these uh, classical ages. The first one, the substitution ciphers, the Caesar ciphers, right? That is the one way. And second one is a transposition uh, ciphers. What is that? So in the substitution, in Caesar ciphers, they substitute the replace the letter with another one based on the, the shift count, right? Shift value. But in transition ciphers, uh, the, instead of changing the letters, just a mix up of uh, the order. So it's like writing some sen sentence or cutting out uh, each word, shuffling uh, like a, uh, some card. So and sending them in the mixed up order to the receiver. So the receiver, he knows, they know how to put the word back in the right order. So that's kind of a, a TCP, TCP uh, segment uh, transmissions. Anyway, so if receiver he knows how to reset, reassemble the received the uh, card, so he can uh, get the original messages. So that is the, the transposition example. Okay. So to make uh, this even uh, harder. The more strong uh, algorithm sometimes uh, use the mix uh, both method. Okay, we uh, we call we call that the product ciphers. So they might first change the letters, uh, like in substitution ciphers, and then uh, mix them up, uh, like in transposition ciphers. So this two-step process make the code even harder to uh, be cracked, right? So substitution ciphers, okay, um, so like a secret codes, uh, just the switching the letters in your messages, okay. That is a cipher, a cipher cipher like a hello world. So we can change each letters. The third letter following X becomes A, Y becomes B, G becomes C. The wrapping around. So key, in this case, key gonna be the three, the shifting count can be three, right? So it's kind of uh, um, what kinds of attacks uh, are similar to this uh, work. So input and output. Oh, they make The three order exist between input and order, right? So they can extract the correlations between the input and output. So that's going, that can be a, a children cycle, children uh, plain text attacks, maybe. Okay. How about these uh, messages? Oh, the hello world can be uh, decoded like uh, the core tree <laughs> with a key is a three. Okay. So how to attack the Caesar cipher? The first method is an exhaustive search, or AKA uh, brute force attack. Try every possible keys. So it means uh, you simply guess and crack and check every single option from 0 to 26, uh, 25. So uh, to see the, which one unlock the uh, secret uh, messages, right? It's like uh, trying every key on a big uh, key ring to see uh, which one opens the door. Second one, status analysis. So use 
like uh, the statics information here uh, the letter the frequency how many the letters are used the number of the usages uh, we call that uh, letter frequency so this method the looking uh, look at the how how open each letter showed up in the cipher text and compare that uh, to how often the letters uh, usually appear in English. So that's uh, some uh, third party uh, information. So how many how often the letters uh, usually appear showed up uh, in English. That is the uh, the common uh, statics information. So some letters like uh, alphabet E, echo E, showed up a lot in English. So if you see one letter a lot in the secret messages, so it might be the alphabet E. So it's like solving a puzzle by uh, the noticing the which piece of uh, most common. So following uh, this process, uh, so we can uh, see these examples. Okay. So I don't know the sentence need uh, start with L B H Y Q A. So the, oh, let's examine uh, the encrypt message first. So this type of text. So like uh, some uh, bunch of uh, mixed uh, letters in our uh, clue. So what what is the original message, right? So we can calculate the frequency each letter showed up, like a B here. So uh, we can get the percent, the rate, uh, fifteen percent. Uh, that's a uh, um, so yeah in this uh, cipher text so B uh, covers the fifteen percent fifteen point six two five percent and then uh, next is uh, E and Q and U so each letter has this uh, frequency raised frequency late, right? So we can get uh, the frequency late for other letters like this and then compare with the typical English letter frequency. So here you uh, can see the English okay, okay, English character frequency, right? So you can see here the E is a over the 12 percent right and the T over uh, 9 percent and then A the similar, almost uh, 8 percent so uh, I brought this uh, from uh, the Wikipedia so this uh, information is uh, open to the public so we can try to compare the uh, letter frequency with this uh, frequency in English. So E is the most common, as you can see, right? About a twelve percent. And then we see in our uh, cipher text B is the most frequency letters. Okay, so we can guess B uh, might be a uh, um, E based on the the frequency in English, right? And we can, if uh, we can guess a B might be a E, so we start on cover the key used to encrypt the messages. Okay, so if B is really E, then the message has been uh, shift. The the B is E, right? Ah, yeah, the B is E, B C E, right? So three place. Uh, shift. So if you like to uh, get the original message, so we can uh, shift backward the three places in alphabet, right? 
So in this way, uh, decrypt uh, the messages. So as a result, uh, okay, here. So that's a, a statistical analysis, right? Uh, in this context, uh, we can break the cycle text of the uh, seizure cycle. How often they usually appear in a regular English uh, the, the sentence. So this idea is to find which key here and shift amount, the shift uh, count, right? So make the letter a frequency in the decode messages. So first, uh, we have to know uh, the frequency, right? So we can define Px and Fc uh, can be a, a frequency in a cipher text. Okay, and calculate the correlations for each key here, right? The summations of combining uh, the product of Fc and P, C minus I. Okay. So this formula, uh, so to consider the alphabetic uh, the left around. So if C minus I is negative, the, it will look back to the end of the alphabet. Okay. So this is the uh, result of performing uh, statistical analysis. Um, so most likely key used in the cyber uh, seizure cipher by comparing a frequency of letters in a cyber text and a known frequency of letters in English. So it the pi is a correlation score. So they show the uh, the number with uh, this is the, the shift value. So 20 is third, uh, that is the, the shift amount. So it uh, has the 0, 0, 0 0.05, three, the most high, highest value, right? Um, so the each value, uh, for each possible uh, shift value, uh, range from 0 to 25, right? So we can get the correlation score like this. So the this correlation score uh, measures how, yeah, and the closely uh, the shifted uh, cipher text matches the expected English letters uh, frequency. So higher scores suggest the uh, the best match. So 20 third that gonna be the highest. Uh, the score and it suggests the yeah the best uh, match and then what is the second uh, the thirteen that is the uh, second highest uh, correlation value and then seven so we can use uh, this order number twenty third thirteen seven in breaking uh, the ciphers. Get the cipher text that we use. For example, let's use the twenty third. Oh, so it means the backward twenty third a place, right? So it showed these messages. Let's use a thirteen. So you should be able to build the photo. Yeah, the it has meaning some uh, sentence. So we can guess, yes, so 13 is the key for this uh, cipher text. In this way, uh, again, the 7, yeah, it uh, doesn't have any mean, meaning of the sentence. So uh, as a result, we can guess the 13 is the right uh, key. Okay, in the real world examples, uh, we don't use a uh, shift for encryption, encrypting the message. Why?
So here uh, we use uh, the, in the cryptography we use the XOR uh, operations. What what is the XOR operations? So this is the the logic value. So input A and B and uh, output C or Q. So like the uh, input has the same value, the output gonna be zero, but they are different. The set uh, the output gonna be one, right? So zero zero make zero, one one make zero. So substituting or test positions uh, that uh, it's a very simple uh, way to hide the message, but uh, in the real life our good rapid uh, algorithm. Uh, that's maybe the part of the algorithm, but that is very uh, vulnerable to be break broken. What you right? So based on uh, status status attack or the brute force attack. So in the real world, we use XOR operations. So everyone uh, and second uh, questions. Everyone implement their own crypt cryptography. You can do that, but uh, that is not recommended. Why? Um, so individual maybe <laughs> so like a, a very uh, top um, the researcher or some uh, distinguished person or people they can make the cyber uh, cryptography, but uh, uh, the crypto. I agree them should be uh, inspected and uh, recognized uh, by the public. Okay. So uh, if you uh, personally make the, the cryptography, maybe you have to be uh, Investigated uh, by other the cyber uh, other uh, cryptograph power or the crypto analysis to get uh, the certifications or certified or the valid uh, verified. Okay, that's the process. And have you ever heard the side channel attacks? Anyone can describe side channel means not uh, in channel. So side channels, uh, they can, uh, they do not use the, the formal way. They use uh, the informal way, side channel attacker. So they can learn the secret from how your code system works in the real world. Uh, they might notice how long it takes to send a message. Or uh, in my, uh, one of the research, uh, I make the fingerprint of the traffic pattern, traffic pattern uh, in the LT network. That is so. Even I didn't know any encryption, decryption algorithm of the LT traffic. I can get some privacy information. So what the user uh, using uh, some specific applications. Okay, such like that. Uh, the cyber channel attacks. My uh, my voice or your voice have their unique pattern, unique features, right? So using machine learning technique or AI algorithm. So without any uh, site, uh, encryption or decryption algorithm knowledge, some they can uh, get some privacy information successfully. So that is the side channel attack. And timing attack. So the, these are a type of side channel attack. Okay. So like uh, how long it takes for your code system to do uh, its job, or they can learn a lot from how fast or slow go, slow it goes, which might help uh, them break your code. So based on the time factor, so they can guess or get some information. Uh, that's the uh, timing attacks. Here, one time pad is a super super secret way to send message uh, nobody else can read 
So XOR is reversible here. You, so they then pad they use uh, the XOR operations. Why? So what is the benefit of XOR? That uh, is it. If you uh, do double of XOR, what it get? It gets uh, the original uh, the input bit. I mean. Um, so like adding uh, the secret numbers to hide something in Caesar cipher, then subtracting them uh, to find it again. So like the XOR XOR operations can do uh, such a way, such a degree. So uh, it that means yes. So XOR is a bit. Uh, it's a very very easy and fast. So that's the reason why I use the XOR operation uh, to inside uh, to encrypt some messages. So here, um, so equal um, as you can see, so A XOR B and XOR B can be A uh, so B XOR B. So these two value can be a uh, zero. So as I Show you the logic. So yeah, the the same value makes the zero in XOR operation, right? A B, uh, they are if they are same value, they're gonna be make the zero in the XOR operations. So here one time pad operations. So that's a reason here A uh, XOR uh, uh, this. The three operation can be uh, A itself. In this way, XORing uh, used for uh, the encryption and decryption in a very easy way. That's kind of a magic. So in a, you can see the plain text here. Uh, hello world it uh, XORing with a key super CR it in make the decipher text how can we uh, reverse these operations for the decrypting okay just a uh, yeah reverse operations with uh, XOR they make the um, Original uh, text, but that's the reason why we use XOR. Okay, so how can we use the XOR uh, in the Python? Okay, um, So I uh, logged into the level 2 of the cryptography. So let's uh, practice some XOR operations uh, in a Python. So let's. Okay, here. So I define uh, some binary digit A, maybe OB means a binary, right? Uh, Mm. One zero, one zero, one zero, and also another binary digit. We can say one one zero zero one one, and fill out uh, the XOR operation. This a uh, how to call these symbols? Upload, upload. Uh, I forgot this and bring up maybe okay. 
Yeah, so 1, 1 here, you can see 1, 1 same, make 0. Oh? 1, 1. So this is the uh, kinds of non uh, XOR. So two, one one, the same makes two, but one. Two one makes one. Yeah, it works. So one 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 zero one zero one zero. Ah. I. Can't understand. Anyway, uh, this is the uh, way to XORing uh, in the Python. Okay. Hmm. Ah, okay. So it uh, the omit the first zero in the result, right? Okay. Um, and in the the. Challenges you should know uh, the base 64 uh, encoding and decoding. So I like to show how to use the base 64 uh, uh, functions in the Python. So base 64, what is this? Uh, we should import. Um, base 64 first okay and help so decode the uh, SK code encoded byte like object so the input should be byte uh, or uh, ASCII as uh, string B, okay, and so base system four uh, is not encrypting, encrypting or decrypting algorithm, just uh, coding and decoding. Why? Why we didn't call the base system four uh, is an encryption algorithm? The base system four they do not hide any information, just a. Uh, uh, the replaced uh, just the change that uh, code, right? So uh, it looks like uh, make it easier to uh, share or the transmit. Uh, that's the function of base uh, sixteen four. So it doesn't keep um, any secret, right? So that's why we didn't call uh, it encryption or decryptions. So what kinds of functions it has, uh, like a decode, uh, in basis, base 16.4 encode. Okay. Yes. In, uh, okay. So encode, and you can see also the uh, the decode right the functions so we just uh, uh, try the simple code like in, uh, import as 64 and I think Define the data. CSE. And then we let's convert this data with bytes because the base system for only uh, accept the byte code. Okay. My case is very bad. So the data, the so encode. The UTF, eight code, coding. 
So convert the string data to byte here and encode data. A system four and B, we see that function B sixty four encode, right? So A, the data gonna be bytes. Good, right? And encoded string. Did. So another functions are uh, the decoded, right? And UTF types. So let's print out. Uh, at the first uh, the cipher text the encoded data yeah uh, the original data and print the, the encoded data okay. mm. Cool. Yeah, there's so. In this way, uh, the base system four encode the data, uh, uh, take the input as a bytes types. Okay. So how can we decoding? So you can just uh, change the uh, functions here, right? Encode it to uh, B sixteen four decode. Okay, that's the way to decoding uh, the data. System four B system four decode right. Okay, you should convert uh, the byte. Okay, and print. Print, okay. Yes. So encode and decode in the uh, the Python using the base uh, sixteen four functions. And another one I like to show the pawn tools how to use that. Uh, Pwn tools provide a lot of uh, 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 the functions to the other the CTF or 
um, basic uh, the tools to interact with some uh, the process or servers, right? So how to uh, let's see uh, we can import the library form, okay? Import uh, process and have the process. So these functions are uh, used to start a new process uh, for local binary executable files, and also it allow uh, us to interact with uh, the binary, um, the ex executing a binary uh, some. Uh, programmatically and we can send input to that uh, process and also we can receive some data from that process so that's our uh, interactions on the Python okay mm. so here process okay. let's um, so we can check, uh, for, we can imp let's import uh, the library from home and import everything and start the process like p start process functions and here we have um, so challenge, right, and run. So this process uh, will be the target uh, to read, uh, to interact. And let's be okay. Uh, we need to uh, the editor. Okay, I will uh, code the process uh, again from form import things. Okay, and p uh, process. Uh, challenge root challenge Hit and run okay and data receive some messages p equal receive line these uh, functions defined in the process uh, a mess kind of message method and print receive here in data and let's just send using send message send line see three six five And we should close. Okay, let's run uh, these files.
Yeah, as you can see, we send uh, some this message to the process. So another way we can uh, receive some message um, the using uh, key. yeah receive the message and send the message. So in this way, we can interact with the process uh, using phone uh, tools, the Python. Okay, so. The mo in the challenge one, uh, challenge in two and three, so you should interact with the process to get the plex, and also you have to convert the cipher text based on sixty four base sixty four uh, encoding decoding uh, method. But that's the hint for uh, challenge two and three. Okay. Thank you. See you um, next week.